The sidewalks have become mechanized more and more because labor is becoming the biggest problem. You used to be able to get a guy for 25 bucks an hour cash money, shove a sidewalk, would work 12 hours, pay him cash to be ecstatic. You can't find those anymore. So now you go, hey man, I'll pay you 25 bucks an hour to ride around this little machine the whole time. You're in the warm and dry and everything else. And they're like, hell yeah, man, I'm gonna be there. One piece of sidewalk that can be mechanized can replace anywhere from seven to 20 guys, depending on how your sidewalks are set up. So what I have seen a trend in that area is, uh, you know, side-by-sides. I mean, they're a little bit bigger than most average sidewalks, so that's not quite what you're looking for. But if you're looking at a, a large, you know, university or something like that with lots of sidewalks, that's the perfect, you know, opportunity for that kind of small plow on a side-by-side a -side UTV. Sidewalk crews have definitely been affected by uh, lack of labor, laborers. Um, in New Jersey, we see that a lot. So sidewalk machines have become very popular. Uh, you can really justify the cost of these sidewalk machines. I get feedback from some customers saying seven to 10 uh, shovelers or guys with a, with a uh, power broom um, per unit. So um, it's easier to convince a guy to get on a machine and ride it than to break his back shoveling. And I know talking to contractors around the country and dealers around the country, that issue is going on in all the markets. So yes, getting a mechanical piece of equipment out allows you to do more sidewalks faster, but you still have to be able to have somebody show up to run that piece of equipment. And if they don't, and that's who you're counting on, that's that much more sidewalk or that much more area that didn't get serviced unless you have a backup.